the time to boost is now before before the winter holidays are upon us. And Dr. Jean Noble says the get boosted message must be aimed directly at people over the age of 65. She heads up the COVID emergency response team at UCSF. Boosting is going to keep the medically fragile, the oldest of the old in our population, out of the hospital. But booster numbers are lagging big time. In San Francisco, just 17% of those eligible have got the latest booster. We have a lot of immunity out there among our, our younger people and people who are not as threatened by COVID. Those are not the people I'm worried about. It is the people who are in nursing homes, who are older, who are severely immunocompromised. More than 70% of people over the age of 65 across the nation got the first booster. But infectious diseases expert Dr. Monica Gandhi has a warning. But when did they receive that first booster or third shot? Probably around January of 2021, actually. And so it's been now a full 10 months. And absolutely, you know, you should get your booster. There is an exception, however. If you've gotten COVID recently, you should hold off. Dr. Gandhi says the ideal time to get the new booster is four months after getting infected or four months after getting your last shot. If you got infected, say, in August, then I would again calculate those four months and get this booster in December because that's where you maximize your immune response. And if you are older and you do get COVID, Dr. Gandhi has a clear message. Someone who is 65 and older, especially those with comorbidities, if you get COVID during these holidays, I would go ahead and ask for Paxlovid because Paxlovid is an antiviral that brings down the risk even more. Tara Campbell, ABC7 News.